in the present world, arbitration is a common word, especially for all those people who are into trade and business. These people are less familiar with the word litigation. So, in this session, we will discuss the meaning, concept, objectives, and advantages of arbitration along with the major differences in respect of litigation. So, let's start with the definition. In a common language, arbitration is one of the techniques of alternative dispute resolution to resolve a dispute without using court resources or simply out of court settlement. Here, I have used a term that is an alternative dispute resolution or simply ADR. What is ADR? As the word alternative suggests that it is an alternative dispute resolution, but of what? That is of course of litigation. Therefore, ADR is an alternative to litigation. Secondly, in the definition, it is mentioned that arbitration is one of the techniques it means there are some more techniques of ADR. Basically, there are three techniques of ADR, namely arbitration that we are discussing here and other two are mediation and conciliation. Mediation and conciliation we will discuss later. So remaining focused on arbitration, let's move further. There is as such, no universal definition of arbitration. However, Halsbury's Laws of England defines arbitration as a process used by agreement of the parties to resolve disputes. In arbitration, disputes are resolved with binding effect by a person or persons acting in a judicial manner in private rather than by a national court of law that would have jurisdiction but for the agreement of the parties to exclude it. I believe this definition is a little complex to comprehend, but don't worry, here I am to simplify it. So let's start with the first word, process. Arbitration is a process. Process means a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. Therefore, arbitration is not a first instance technique but rather a process that may take as less as two meetings or maybe five, six meetings to reach on an agreement. Second term that is an agreement. An agreement means harmony or accordance in opinion. Therefore, a mutual consent of the parties to reach on an agreement is imperative. If any of the parties is not agreed, then arbitration would not proceed. Third term, that is binding effect. So what is the binding effect? It means the award of an arbitration is equally enforceable as the judgment of a court of law. After finalization of the award, in a normal circumstance, no party can retreat or refuse to accept the award. Fourth term, that is by a person or persons. The person who arbitrates is known as an arbitrator. In the definition, two words have been used, singular person and plural persons. It means arbitrator could be either one or more than one. Fifth term, that is acting in a judicial manner. It means the proceedings will be similar to litigation. However, the difference is litigation is more formal and strict. On the other hand, arbitration is less formal and flexible. Sixth term, that is in private. It means the place and proceedings of arbitration are confidential and no one is allowed to disclose it whereas the court proceedings are usually not confidential. Now come to the concept of arbitration. The basic requirement of arbitration is the parties in dispute must be agreed to resolve their dispute through arbitration. Only then the process will commence. 
any one of the parties if not agreed then arbitration won't proceed further arbitration is voluntary or mandatory voluntary means both the parties come forward and choose arbitration to resolve their issue suo moto that is without any external force on the other hand mandatory which is also voluntary but the difference is in this case the agreement of arbitration is signed by the parties in advance that is prior to the dispute it is done in an anticipation if dispute will arise then they will resolve it through arbitration so when the dispute arises then it is mandatory to resolve it through arbitration that is the only solution available because of the prior agreement now come to the objectives of arbitration following are the major objectives of the arbitration fair resolution of dispute swift resolution service freedom to choose arbitrator should have knowledge of proceedings no courts intervention and unburden the courts pending cases especially in india now come to the advantages of arbitration the major advantages of arbitration are parties have the full freedom to choose an arbitrator and proceeding place and time it is swift and faster unlike court it is flexible in terms of time place etc of proceedings liberty of language suppose an indian has a dispute with a german in such a case arbitration gives an opportunity to have the language preference including arbitrator as well unlike court it is confidential it saves time and money its award is equally valid and legally binding on both the parties it is enforceable in the same manner as the judgment of the court now come to the arbitrable dispute all the disputes are not arbitrable but rather it is largely restricted to the disputes related to trade and commercial transactions now come to the arbitration agreement arbitration agreement is of two types first drafted in advance while making the agreement of commercial transaction etc second after the dispute arisen now come to the differences between the arbitration and litigation normally the advantages that we have discussed above are the differences between the arbitration and litigation however some other differences are all cases are not eligible for arbitration whereas in litigation you can file any case dispute litigation is formal and strict whereas arbitration is less formal and flexible litigation is time and place specific whereas arbitration is not in litigation no freedom to choose just but in arbitration you can choose an arbitrator of your choice in case of an international dispute arbitration is the only choice now come to the challenge of award usually the award of arbitration is as valid and enforceable as court's judgment and it cannot be appealed however in certain circumstances such as if there is mistrust cheating biasness or misinterpretation of the law etc then arbitration award can be upheld but this provision is applicable only in case of domestic dispute in an international case where one party is from south korea and the second party from france then it is not possible moreover arbitration is one of the best dispute resolving techniques which is having more preference over the litigation in the present world 